Hi, you're listening to Everyday Superpower, a place where you can take some time to understand the benefits of learning how to read body language and nonverbal communication. Uh, what you'll be able to do is essentially learn to read the minds of others purely through what their body tells you, okay? Because their body works on a subconscious basis, whereas their words come from the conscious mind, which can be made up. The body language cannot, okay? So alongside that, you'll learn how you project out messages and the lessons that come along with learning it on a general basis all right as far as how we're wired and how we're going to continue working this way until things change if you enjoy what you hear click subscribe i'd love to hear back from you thank you okay so today's lesson is going to be quite a fun and brief one i should imagine uh, it's regarding the exposure of the armpits uh, in particular we're going to be talking in a sexually charged manner all right um, the armpits are exposed on a relatively regular basis but just not many people talk about it i think um, it's considered a little bit weird but they are a low-key uh, heavily sexually charged area okay so the armpit is considered vulnerable and intimate all right it's definitely intimate why is it intimate because it's not really exposed too often to people okay so if it's fine to be exposed to you then it shows openness and what do we say openness is way better than closed body language okay open body language is the way to go forward whether you want to make friends whether you want to move forward in a relationship and you can apply that relationship wherever you want okay uh, all relationships are good whilst open all right all communications and um, receptive messages are taken well when open so the armpit is considered vulnerable and intimate, right? So when the arm is lifted, right? Now this is for both men and women. Once the arm is lifted, the armpit is exposed, releasing pheromones. The pheromones stimulate the nose of the potential lover, okay? This is possibly the most important point. I'll re-clarify, once the arm is raised in the armpit is exposed pheromones are released which stimulate the nose of the individual all right not only stimulating visually because you've seen something which not many people have seen there's been an exposure of sorts to you but there is a pheromone that is released not only that but you as an individual can do the same thing to provoke the same effect, all right? So let's speak about women. In doing so, the breasts are put on display, okay? So aesthetically, it's pleasing. It's a uh, full-figured display. We've talked about uh, gravity-defying gestures and how things that go up tend to be positive, whereas things that go down tend to be bad. I like the person celebrating with jumping for joy and with their arms in the air in comparison with someone who's slouching with a frown facing downwards all right complete counter opposites one's up and one's down when body language comes in it's important to pay attention to it's very truthful so the arms go up in the air positive all right when are you going to see the armpits more than likely with the arms upwards all right to some degree all right so this behavior clusters with the playing with the hair. The playing with the hair is a very sexually charged display, okay? Perhaps she's displaying the neck, just like the image ahead of you. The arm comes up, playing with an earring in that particular photo, which could be a, you know, a phallic earring, as we've discussed in earlier videos. The armpit comes up, exposes itself. The neck is exposed. The hair is being played with in a playful manner. The movement attracts attention to these areas. The pheromones are released. It's a submissive display as the feminine, intimate, sensitive neck is being exposed. It's a pacifying behaviour as she's touching the neck and the nerve endings are sending positive endorphins to the head because she feels nervous around you. How many signals do you need? It's an incredible cluster of behaviour when you're in the dating game, okay? And on that note, 
I'm not actually going to go any further. We're going to leave it at that. I think this has been a jam-packed uh, lesson, incredibly beneficial, something you need to pay attention for. Uh, if you enjoy what I do and you want to inquire further, my email address should be in the um, bio section. So feel free to shoot me over an inquiry. Uh, other than that, click subscribe, keep in touch. Uh, we're firing these videos out. I want to give you the insight that I have and for you to be able to thoroughly understand the people around you to such a degree where you can read an individual's mind and their thought process. Click subscribe. Thank you.